Hello all, myself Dr. Shanti Verma. In today's tutorial, I am going to discuss various types of data structures in Python programming. Now let's discuss what are the different types of data structures in Python. There are uh, various types of data structure like list, dictionaries, tuples, and strings. Let's discuss all these in detail. First, let's discuss list. List is a basically most versatile data type in Python and uh, written as a list of comma separated values uh, between the square brackets. List uh, items uh, are uh, heterogeneous types and uh, it is not needed to be of same type. Basically, when we want to declare a list, we have to assign, uh, we have to take a square brackets and within the square bracket, we can write the comma separated values as the items of list. Basically, the concatenation produces a new list. Uh, in the example, you can see that I declare uh, one list that is list 1 having the four data items 1, 3, 4 and 5. Now, if I write list 2 equals to list 1, then you can see when I print list 1, it's 1, 3, uh, 7, 5. And when you, uh, I print list 2, it's a 1, 3, 4, 5. So basically this list 2 uh, is a, a duplicate copy of list 1. In the list 1, I perform a one operation that is uh, list 1 uh, equals to list 1, 0 to 2 means uh, 1, 3, uh, uh, 1, 3. Then I uh, mm -hmm. add an item 7, mm -hmm. then list 1, 3 columns, uh, 3 colon. Uh, so it uh, converts the list 1 in the form of uh, 1, 3, 7, 5. Now uh, basically when the uh, I write this 7 in the form of the uh, uh, simple braces, you can see that it gives an error that uh, concatenation can only in the form of list, not the other uh, form. Uh, basically, uh, the main property of list is a uh, list is a mutable uh, object, is, so it uh, can be changed after creation. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, you can see here uh, I declare one list that name uh, that name is I list having the two items that is 9 and 6, 9 and 6. Now I place uh, uh, in the first position uh, uh, the value 1 and print this I list. You can see that this list value is changed. So you can change list after creation that is called the mutable property of list. There are various types of uh, functions available in for, for, for list operations. The first is a append. Uh, append is used to add an item to the end of the list. You can see in the example that I declare a one list having uh, four elements and I want to add the uh, another item in the list. So I write a I list and append 45. So you can see that key uh, this 45 appended at the last position of the list. Uh, there is a one uh, more operation that is list basically uh, that is extend uh, extend to, uh, ex extend the list by appending all the items in the given list so for extending you have to pass the another list you can see here if i write i uh, if uh, there are two list that is i list 2 and i list 3 and i write i list 2 dot extend i list 3 and print the i list 2 it uh, you can see that all the elements of the i list 3 is appended in the i list 2 there is also a function that is insert uh, insert if you want to insert an item at a given position you uh, have to use the insert function uh, when you use the in insert function you can see here that uh, uh, if I want to insert a item at the third position uh, and the value of the uh, item is a 99 so I can write uh, uh, insert 3 comma 99 you can see that 
at the third position this 99 is appended or inserted uh, there is also a remove function uh, uh, remove the first item from the list whose value is x and uh, if uh, it gives an error if there is a no such item so if you want to uh, remove uh, here uh, 89 from the list so you have to write remove 89 then you can see that this item is removed from the list there are uh, more various uh, functions of list like pop uh, pop is used to remove the item at the given positions uh, uh, in the list and uh, return it uh, you can see here if i uh, write uh, i list pop then you can see that uh, this 567 is written uh, you can also reverse the string using the reverse function in the example you can see that if i write this reverse with the list this list indexes are reversed uh, there is also function of count uh, basically count returns the number of times x appears in the list for example here you can see that here uh, there 90 occurs two times in a list so if i uh, I write I list 5 dot count 90 it returns the frequency of 90 that is 2. You can also short the items of the list using the short function. Now let's discuss dictionary. Uh, basically dictionary is defined as an unordered set of key and value pairs with the requirement that the keys are unique. Uh, basically dictionary is also a mutable data type. Uh, means you can change the items uh, after creating dictionary. Uh, dictionary are sometimes also called as associative memories and the associative arrays. Uh, dictionaries are indexed by key which can be any immutable type or could be a string. Basically a pair of braces created an empty string. Uh, so for list you have to use square braces but for dictionary you have to use a curly braces uh, for example if you want to declare a, a one null string test one so you can write this test one equals to curly braces open and curly braces close uh, basically if you want to create a one dictionary uh, with a three items uh, three key uh, key and value pairs so uh, the first key value is a Gunjan and the associated value is a 90. Second is a Gupta, value is a 80 and third is a Parminder, value is 70. So if you print the test one DC, you can see that this is a key and this is a value associated with the key. We can also nest the, nest the, the dictionaries, means a dictionary under, uh, within dictionary. For that, uh, you can see here in the example that there are uh, three uh, uh, null dictionaries that are the test 2 DC, test 3 DC and test 4 DC. If I write test 4 DC, then test 2 as a key and pass these values, pass another dictionary, then test 3 and associate dictionary within the with dictionary so it is also possible you can directly assign the values to a dictionary also you can see here if you want to directly assign then you can in the, within the curly braces you can write the keys and the value associated with a colon sign uh, the dish, dict, uh, constructor build our dictionaries directly from the sequence of a few value pairs so, uh, if you uh, don't want to use a curly braces, then you can also use a dict keyword. Uh, so, for that you have to write this dict, then this is a uh, tuple uh, sim uh, uh, simple braces, then list and within the list you have to write the keys and the associated values. You can see that with the help of the dict also dictionary is created. Now let's discuss tuples. Tuples is a basically sequence data types and tuples are immutable means you can, cannot change the values after creating it. 
and basically tuples usually contains a heterogeneous sequence of elements in the example you can see that if i uh, make a tuple for making a tuple you have to use a uh, uh, you have to use a uh, braces if i write this date 17/4/2017 and i want to change the value associated at the first index so it gives the error it shows that uh, uh, tuple is a immutable type now you have to also simultaneously assignment is possible in the tuples uh, for example if you write uh, this uh, values like uh, age name and lar and you have to uh, give the values for example 23 in the age name in the jam and lar in the one list that is 987 and you have to print the age then it gives the 23 associated value so you can simultaneously assign in tuple we can also assign a tuple of value to a name for example you if you uh, write here this year is a one tuple having the value 23 78 and 90 and there is a one more tuple that is uh, that have the value 7.9 and 0.89 and you can print this year comma parameter then it make a tuple within the tuple uh, you can also uh, uh, test uh, nested the tuples so uh, for nesting the tuple you have to uh, basically uh, create a tuple within uh, under within the tuple for that you have to write uh, here that uh, y uh, for example y is a one tuple and you have to make a y within the u tuple so you can write uh, as see in the example uh, basically a tuple consists of a number of values separated by a commas uh you can also create a uh, empty tuple also and uh, for finding the length of the tuple you can use a length function uh basically extract positions in the tuple you can also use a slicing we can discuss slicing in the string also now let's discuss a string uh, basically a string is a sequence of list or characters and a string is a immutable nature means one you define once you define you cannot change basically mm -hmm. str is the type of the strings uh, uh, type for the strings in the python you for defining a string you can use a double quotes single quotes or triple double quotes also basically for printing the string the print function produces the more readable output uh, uh, if you use the print it omit and enclosing quotes and uh, by printing escapes and the special characters you can see here if i define a one string uh, s having one uh, special symbol that is a slash n and if i only write here s that uh, this s is included in the output but if i write uh, uh, print s then it slash n is executed for the new line execution uh, you can also access the sub string uh, from the string by using the slicing uh, slicing with the indices uh, for example if uh, str uh, equals to st equals to hello python and you want to access the value at the first position you can write st minus 1 it gives the first position elements that is e if you write st minus 1 minus 1 is used for the last element of the list so it gives the n a uh, python basically use uh, both types of indexing uh, positive and the negative indexing you can see here in the examples uh, uh, for hello uh, h is a zero position and o is at the four position but you uh, want to reverse then uh, minus 1 is at the zero position and minus 5, 5 is the at the h position h uh, there are various types of operations on the strings like concatenation and repetition for concatenation plus symbol is used and for repetition uh, multiply or star symbol is used for example if you want to uh, add two 
uh, strings. So the here plus is used. Here vas is a hello, and there if you want to print t, then it's hello there. Similarly, for the uh, multiplying the or repeating the string, you have to use the star symbol. If, if so, if you write t e star two, if it prints I am busy two times. Uh, there is also a membership uh, functions uh, returns uh, with the strings. Uh, basically, membership returns a two false if the character exists in the string or not. For example, if uh, I write t equals to us and I want to check u in t, then if u is available in t, it gives the true. And for example, if t equals to Mohan and I write l in t, then as l is not in mohan it returns false uh, for calculating the length of the string uh, you can use a length function for example if you want to uh, use length then uh, length t equals to 5 the length of mohan is 5 there is also upper and lower functions available that converts the whole string in the upper form or in the lower form there are also uh, various types many, many more operations available in the uh, of the strings uh, basically as uh, i already discussed the string is uh, immutable so you cannot update the uh, string uh, so if you want to update the string you can use slices and concatenation for modification of string for example if you uh, want to update the value uh, of o to p then you can write s023 means 0 1 2 uh, 3 is same and at the last you have to concatenate p uh, in the string and if you print s then it uh, uh, gives you help at place of the hello uh, the slicing is the most important part of the string uh, slicing means uh, to extract the segment from a string uh, uh, basically if you uh, want to use a slicing the syntax is uh, str and you have to give the two values that is the uh, end value start value and the end value with the uh, uh, variable name uh, basically start is the substring start from this element and end is the substring excluding the element at the index so if you want to uh, 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 write uh, s i colon j it starts from s i and ends at s j minus 1 for example here if s is a hello space word and i write as zero colon it means it takes all the elements starting from zero to end if i uh, write three colon one it gives a null string because uh, three is a larger value and one is a smaller value in uh, uh, slicing uh, the first value is always greater than the uh, always less than the uh, end value if I write here uh, 0 colon 7 then it gives 0 to 6 index all the values. If I write s colon 5 it means it gives uh, all the values starting mm. from 0 to 5. If I write only s colon then it gives a whole hello word. If I write s 3 colon that is starting from 3 and up to the length of the string it goes and prints all the values of the uh, s string in this tutorial uh, i am discussed the various types of data structures in python if you have any query you can contact me thank you